I'm here at the Santa Clarita Community Gardens and we have all of these California poppies here that self-propagate and grow in our common spaces every year. They have ideal conditions and they have water and so they grow. But last year I noticed something interesting. I noticed some of these, very few. I mean, take a look at all of these orange poppies, which is the normal color for California poppies, our state flower. But here's a white California poppy. And I see one more plant right there of white California poppies. And I found another one up there. You may have guessed this already, but this is a recessive allele. It was mapped recently by a uh, college student and his dad, who was a professor, and they found that it is one mutation on one gene that causes this. So it's a recessive allele. You don't see it that often, but I do wonder from year to year how the frequency might change. I don't know if it's selected for or against. At this point, it doesn't seem to be selected either. So what will happen to those alleles then, the frequencies, if it's not selected for or against? I see another over here. And what will happen? So this is one plant. You can see it in the middle of the golden colors, but that's one plant making the white poppies instead of the gold. So over time, what will happen if white's a better color or a worse color? What will happen to the frequencies of alleles? What will happen if it's neither selected for or against?